Hello and welcome to this whiteboard update on the treatment of chronic lymphocytic leukemia or CLL. I'm Dr. John Allen, an assistant professor of medicine in the Division of Hematology and Medical Oncology at Weill Cornell Medicine. In this whiteboard video, we will discuss the mechanisms of action of anti-apoptotic B-cell lymphoma 2 inhibitors. Apoptosis, or programmed cell death, helps in destroying the damaged and diseased cells. The BCL2 family of proteins, which contain both pro-apoptotic and anti-apoptotic proteins, regulate this intricate balance between cell survival and cell death. Anti-apoptotic members, like BCL2, MCL1, and BCLXL, live in homeostasis with and bind to and cancel out pro-apoptotic members such as BIM, BAD, and PUMA. Upon a shift in balance favoring pro-apoptotic family members, a complex between back and backs forms and permeabilizes cytoplasmic mitochondria, resulting in depolarization and caspase activation, ultimately leading to apoptosis and cell death. In CLL, it is well known that BCL2 is overexpressed, thus tilting the balance in favor of survival. This leads to uncontrolled growth of malignant cells via inability to undergo apoptosis. Drugs such as venetoclax primarily inhibit BCL2 and help restore the cell to undergo apoptosis. Certain family members such as MCL1 and BCLXL are expressed at varying levels in other hematopoietic systems, and thus why less specific BCL2 inhibitors before venetoclax fail to progress owing to toxicities from off-target BCL2 family member inhibition. The specificity of venetoclax for BCL2 has resulted in impressive response rates and progression-free survival in high-risk patients without significant hematologic toxicities seen with prior inhibitors. Thank you for your participation in this whiteboard update.